Hello and welcome your first tutorial about the FPS game. In this tutorial we will actually not making one class but we will make three. Collision Plane, Sphere and the Collision class itself. Uh, collision Sphere and Plane is pretty simple class, basically they just uh, store, this one is store a simple plane so it will be easier to store it a uh, vector, so make a plane of vector, no, the vector of plane something like that, so we can store all of the collision planes of the game without having to use one million trillion variable uh, separately, and uh, basically that's the simple structure. The sphere is similarly a simple structure, this will be used as the player and the zombie is, uh, is surrounded by a sphere which will be uh, used to test collision for, and the collision class itself will test the collision. We, we, we have already made the co all of the necessary collision function, so I will basically just copy that and paste it to the collision function, so it will be pretty simple and pretty boring tutorial, but I will make it so everything will be on video, so a video evidence that I really make that game. Okay, so the collision sphere dot h, and let's start it. First of all, let's make an inclusion guard, so again, the compiler will not say that this class was already defined here, so if not defined, the uh, collision sphere underscore age, I know I should use uh, shorter names because I will mistype this name so much that I can't even imagine. So, uh, if the end, if, alright, this is plain and simple, you already know this stuff, so we will make the collision sphere class, and every uh, thing in this fun uh, in this class will be public, so I might use struct, but I just like to use classes. There is not really a difference. In, uh, uh, just that I have to use the public keyword right here. Okay, so a sphere obviously have a radius, and the sphere have a center point. We can use the vector 3D class which we have just made in the last tutorial to use uh, to make that. So I will make an inc include. Okay, another call. So we have to include the vector uh, 3d.h. This is the vector class we just made in the last tutorial, so we can store the center point of this collision sphere. So vector 3d and call it uh, center, for example. Okay, and I just make a collision sphere, an empty constructor, and a collision sphere constructor, which will uh, just fill up this. Uh, uh, structure. So this will be the vector 3D uh, reference. Call it vec. Actually, make it a const because we don't want to modify it right here. And the other is just a radius, so red. Okay, and now we are ready to make the implementation of these two very simple functions. Okay, so I just include the collision sphere. I said I will mistype it collision sphere dot h and I will start to make this function right here. Okay, first of all I use I have to make the collision sphere, sphere colon colon and collision sphere colon colon so the uh, compiler will know that we want to make this collision sphere stuff. Okay, and the empty should just uh, just make the radius equal to zero. And pretty much that it that's it. And the default constructor of the center already taken care of making uh, the center point of zero zero zero. Oh, oh the other is uh, is again quite simple. The center point, the center point, uh, the change. So we change the center point to to this uh, vector and uh, make the radius equal to red. That's right. I think that this is supposed to work. I will be really embarrassed if this is not working, because uh, it's quite simple class. The next thing on the to-do list is make the collision plane dot cpp and h. A plane consists four point and a normal vector. This is what needed to do the collision checking. Okay, first of all the inclusion guard. So if not defined collision plane underscore h, then we define the collision plane underscore h and if okay. Now we're taking care of that. So class collision plane again a quite long name, and I not used to use these long kind of names, but I did it in the original, so I will do it in right here too. But maybe the C plane may be a bit shorter and more error proof. So first of all, we need to make a vector 3D object uh, which we have to include. So in uh, mistype include. The vector 3D at that age. So we just include the vector 3D we just made in the last tutorial and vector 3D 
and we make four points of these. So this will be the four point of the plane. Obviously there are four. And one more thing is a normal vector. So vector 3D normal. That's right. Now we just have to make the constructor collision plane, which will be a quite long uh, constructor since I will not pass col uh, vector 3D objects in here. Uh, why? Uh, probably you ask. That because I when I made the make the modifications in the object loader there where I will fill the collision plane, uh, plane structure uh, then I will uh, not make uh, so yeah I will man manually put every single coordinate since that's how it is in the in the file so the object file now okay I made it screw up that mm. so let's make it so we need a normal vector n1 n2 and n3 and i should put the float uh, before all of them so float n1 n2 n3 perfect i need uh, a float a and the float b and float c this will be the first uh, this will be the first the p0 so the first point and i have to make the rest of them i just separated by new line so you can see it uh, easier so one two three point four point that's correct a b c d e f uh, g h i j k l perfect okay so here we have the constructor we pass the normal the normal vector first then the first point second point third point fourth point and pretty much I don't think that we need anything else in this uh, collision plane structure since uh, well, all members are public we can access them although in the original project I made the uh, get first point second point get normal things like that but now I can just uh, but actually uh, I can just uh, use the name of the collision plane and dot normal or dot p0 to get what I need so I just copy this and include make the actual definition of the collision pl the, the collision plane dot h and uh, let's make this function so collision okay i said that i shouldn't use this long name so collision plane colon colon and we will make it all right so the normal dot change remember this change function waits for three parameter we made the uh, several overloaded change function so I just pass n1 n2 n3 correct then do the same with p0 dot change and abc p1 dot change uh, def p2 dot change and uh, g uh, hi and p3 the change jkl jkl correct now we have the collision plane function as well one function remains to make is the collision uh, class not function class okay this will be basically a copy and paste class uh, this uh, this uh, class contains all of the function all of the collision function from the earlier functions the cpp file except that all of this function will be static so we don't have to create a collision class everywhere where i want to check collision i just use collision colon colon and the name of whatever collision uh, collision method i want to use all right so first of all make the inclusion guard as always so if not defined collision underscore age then i just define the collision underscore h uh seems a bit shorter collision and i and and if okay and here i make the class collision so this is just to be better structured actually we could use the whatever function we have in the functions that cpp file okay wait a moment i will search that file all right i'm back and here the function that agent function that cpp file i found it actually it was a bit more challenging than i anticipated since i i don't really have it in the computer or uh, well said i don't know where it is so i had to download that again from the from what i uploaded okay so here is the collision uh, class definition and we can just copy all of the collision related functions from the function.h file uh, like this one's ray sphere so i just copy it right here 
and the next one is ray plane uh, right ray plane and by the way uh, probably you will see that uh, uh, we'll use this coordinate right here uh, for the vector uh, as a vector object but we can use the vector 3d class now that we can make it although I will not make it in this tutorial since the coordinate work just as well as the vector 3d class but if you want you can make it and get rid of this coordinate since we don't really need it anymore it is by the way in the object loader dot uh, h file it is defined there so I include the obj loader dot h file loader dot h file and I will place it in this folder but I will forget totally since I when I get there okay so I have two functions and a few more to go ray sphere red point distance yeah these are definitely collision functions so I just place it in here okay and a little tabulator so it will look better okay uh, by the way uh, I just turn off this uh, put enters and the end of the line so now I can see a long line like that not as four lines so I think it's a little bit better in this way I don't know which way is better but uh, maybe it's better okay so n get to the next functions sphere plane and uh, I think that that is the last sphere plane so I just place it in here and one thing I have to do is make all of these two static so static uh, static tick so almost now there we go and now we don't have to make a collision class instance to use these functions we can just use collision colon colon ray plane for example so yeah that's right that's exactly six function exactly the number which we will need now I will copy the implementation of these functions from the function the cpp file to the collision the cpp file so I just need to include the collision that h file so the our header file and I just copy this from the function that cpp file yeah I know this tutorial is kind of boring since it's all of copy and paste and make it very simple classes uh, but we have to make that too to in order to make the FPS game but later on there will be more interesting tutorials come like uh, whenever we make the weapon I think that's a pretty good class or whenever we will make the player or or the entire game actually pretty fun just this part at the beginning when we just make the base classes this a bit boring okay here we go I just uh, oops we don't need this we just pasted the implementation all of this function now the only thing remain is to place this collision colon colon thing every single one of this uh, function names before this function names so I just place it and if everything was correctly there are exactly six of these actually I think I can make this coordinate to use uh, so I can make this uh, coordinate to uh, not be here so instead of vector 3d since uh, both coordinate and vector 3d have a public xyz coordinate I believe if I just uh, change every single one of this coordinate to vector 3d then it should work as uh, so it should work uh, but I will not do it right now since maybe it's not working and then I just uh, up this tutorial and I can start it again all right and I believe we are ready with everything in this uh, tutorial so it's ready to try to compile and fix the errors all right so I will just use the compiler to try to compile everything oh and all I almost forget I have to copy the uh, object loader dot h and cpp header file into this folder wait a second okay I get it so I just copy it uh, the code there's two file into here so we can use this coordinate and this include and uh, yeah let's try to compile it and see what I screwed up so I use again uh, this same terminal I used in the last alright so we need to use these flags I forgot so slash lgl slash lglu and slash lsdl uh, let's see now yeah it compiled I don't think that we can make anything example program with this since uh, these are not really uh, interesting class as itself it will be interesting whenever we actually make the graphical interface for it and then we can obviously make examples but for now this will be the tutorial without any graphical output so thank you for watching and have a great